For the exploration and value, you'll be creating a monochromatic drawing in oil pastels. So first of all, we're going to look at Robert Delaunay's cubism. Cubism is basically taking shapes and objects that you break apart to create different types of depth and organize your area. So first of all, what does mono mean? Mono means one. The prefix mono means one. And when joined with chroma, which means color, you get monochromatic which stands for one color. Now in this case, we're gonna use different value scales with shades and tints, which are lights and darks. So you need paper, two pencils, and a compass to start with to create your basic shapes like Robert Delaunay did. All right, so it works good if you have a partner, because sometimes it gets hard to create your circles by yourself. So I'm going to put my pencil, particularly a sharp pencil, at the skinny end of my compass and I'm going to choose a radius and I'm going to create different size circles. The bigger the radius is between pencil one and pencil two, the bigger your circle will be. The smaller it is, the smaller your circle will be. Don't be afraid to let some of these overlap, let some of them go inside one another. Create lots of different circles. I like to work in threes. Threes is a good way to balance. So I'll have my big circle in the middle, and then I'll start putting some other circles, kind of like in a triangle, but not a perfect triangle around my piece to really balance out my drawing. So I have not too much going on on one side and not very much on the other. All right, so I have all my different circles drawn on. Now I'm gonna start really creating the cubes. I'm gonna start breaking up the space a little bit. This is gonna create some interest when I go to actually color and change my values between my shapes and areas of my drawing. So I'm laying down my ruler, just doing some diagonal lines. Sometimes I go through a circle, sometimes I avoid a circle. And that will create a sense of space. Spaces where you have things overlapping or hidden behind, especially when playing with value. So don't be afraid to add quite a few lines, but at the same time, you don't want it to get too busy, but at the same time, also don't have it too empty. Now that I have my drawing all laid out, I'm going to choose what color I want to use for my value scale. I chose blue, so I have a couple different blues, white, and black for my value. So I'm just going to show you a basic value scale. I'm just going to lay down my just regular old blue cobalt crayon box blue. I'm just going to go back and forth. What's cool with oil pastels is you can really layer them, so I'm going to take advantage of that. So I'm going to go back and forth with my white. Sometimes I push a little harder, sometimes a little less. But I can see that there's this really sharp line right in the middle of that. So I'm gonna come back with my blue and smooth out that transition or that movement from the blue into light blue into white and then I'll even go back with my white. So I should get white, white, different values of blue, the straight blue. And then the other end on the right side I'm gonna start coming in with a little bit of black. Now don't overdo it with the black if you don't want it to get really dark. Now you guys don't have to do a value scale. If you wanna practice a little bit, if you just have a little bit of scratch paper laying around, it doesn't hurt just to kinda of get a feel for what oil pastels, oil pastels feel like, look like, and how you can actually blend with them. So that's a value. That's my monochromatic value for blue. All right, so that's gonna go a little fast, but I'll lay down white, then I'll lay down blue, then white again. Sometimes I'll just do flat blue. Sometimes I'll do black with blue over the top. But notice when I start laying down colors, I try to really vary it up a little bit. So I'll have a light blue next to a medium blue, next to a dark blue, but I never try to have two light blues really next to each other or two dark blues next to each other. I try to kind of bounce around. So I don't want them touching. All right, now here I wanna have a little transition. I want it to get dark to light, just because I have a dark blue, I have a medium blue, and I have a really, really, really light blue going. So I'm gonna kinda of play with that a little bit. So I laid down some white. 
I'm going in with some blue. I'll go over with the white again just to kind of blend it out so it doesn't feel too rough. I really like the texture that I get when I layer my colors with oil pastels. I know some people like it if it's a little bit sketchier, but it just doesn't feel as saturated or as bright as it could be, unless you really go in and push hard and really smooth out that texture. And you can use that with white, black, layering colors, or just smoothing it out with your finger, which I'll show you in a minute. So notice I'm just kind of doing some little lines. I'm not overdoing it with the black. I just kind of spread them out, so that's showing value. We could call that shading or hatching. And then I'll even go with my finger and I'll kind of blend them together. Just to kind of soften that up a little bit. If you like leaving that texture, those hatch marks, feel free. I didn't want to have the hatch marks super bold. I want to see them a little bit, but not too much. And also I'll kind of bounce around between fingers too. So like one finger will blend out the darker areas, another finger will blend out the lighter areas so it doesn't get too muddy. So I have that nice dark transition to the light. And I kind of bounce around, so like I'll switch areas from the bottom and up, but then I'll go from the top to down, and just kind of play with it a little bit. I had this other blue in my oil pastel set, and it's it's very similar, it's a little different. I figured since they're still kind of in the same family, I would try using that just to kind of play at my value scale just a little bit. You don't have to, but it's an option, as long as everything still feels very blue. So I just kind of go in rough first, then I just lay in my other blue to create a new blue. Then I'll go with my white to make it a little lighter. Okay. Now I know I'm going really fast in this video because it's just kind of a time lapse, but I just wanted to show you how you can lay down colors and create a really cool monochromatic cubist drawing. Have fun.